Hi Cancer, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. So we are here for the general read for the month of February. But as always, remember that spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum. So the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying? So we've got your over and our over all energies. Yeah. Past, present, future energies here. Further clarification here. And final messages and or advice from spirit here. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Overall energies is number 26. Amaru, the beautiful place. Your dreams of a more beautiful world are not a product of childish fantasy nor idle imagination. They are true spiritual visions inspired by the universal heart that yearns for divine paradise to be manifested in all worlds. You have a life purpose to assist in the creation of divine harmony in the world through sacred activism and the expression of your soul talents. Believe that the beautiful world you long for is not only possible, but part of your spiritual responsibility to create. Emma Rue, the beautiful place. So, current energies, past, present, and future, we've got the Eight of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Eight of Swords, King of Wands, Ten of Swords. King of Swords, the King of Wands. And the Ten of Swords. You've been holding yourself back. <coughs> You've been putting some limitations on yourself. Maybe the Maybe because you think that it's for your own good, perhaps you think that it's for the greater good, for the collective. But either way, there's been some limitation here with this, with the Eight of Swords, all right? And there's, Like, I'm really feeling like this was for protection. Perhaps you needed to take this vantage point to really get a handle on your thoughts, your self-talk, or maybe you've taken this time to kind of insulate yourself to adjust to the new way that this new view that you've adopted of the world around you. Like, I'm seeing this glass box, and I'm feeling like it's a bit of an observatory, Cancer. So 
Perhaps you're taking this, you, you've taken this, this lofty approach to things as a defense mechanism, but with, with this King of Wands here, it's like the, the time of watching is done. Now it, you're, you're getting that urge to do something with this information that you have gathered. But with this Ten of Swords, I'm thinking that there may, there's uh, some disillusionment with the information that you've received. What this information that you have gathered even though you're being called to act on it, it is, it, it's, it's, there's some, there's some painful information here. And so, with you knowing, I'm feeling like just kind of push past the pain. That may be another reason why this King of Wands is here. Like, you know that to get out of the comfort of the crow's nest and to the discomfort of acting with this new information because this information is transformative that it's going to be it's going to be difficult but now is the time for you to move forward with that and so the eight of swords is clarified by the king of wands the sun and the high priestess yes very much so this is You, you you got some really good information. You got some really good information and it's been it's been clear, it's been a lot, right? Like with I said the sun, this is the lover's card. Like with Yep. New information. It still made something very clear. Right. And you're keeping quiet about it. About this clear information that you've received. Must be big information, Cancer. Big information. And then the King of Wands. Here. Oh, we got a bonus? is clarified by that is the cruelest thing ever okay the strength card Four of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Sitting on this information is difficult, and it feels like you've been sitting on this information forever. And the way that I see it, like this. Even though you've known this, you've also known with the strength card that you're going to have to sit on it and also act like you don't know that you, what it is that you've discovered. And with the four swords, it's been sitting in it's been sitting in your mind, and 
you've been trying really hard not to even think about it because if you think about it too much, you'll start acting and giving your quote unquote position away. And then with this page of pentacles, it's like you, you, yeah, you've had to sit on this for a while, for a long, long time. And this is new for you getting big information and then sitting on that big information for an extended period of time is a new skill and it's feeling like it's taking forever however comma it is in your best interest that you have done something different than what you would normally do So the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Cups, yep. the Five of Wands, and again, the Eight of Swords, look at that, coming out a second time. You're going to have to move away. You know that moving away, walking away from something is inevitable. And you may be waiting on the right time. You may be waiting on the perfect time to strike. But there is definitely a struggle here regarding it. which is, again, keeping you in this, in this frame of mind of it does not directly affect me, it does not directly affect me. If I say the right thing or if I say the wrong thing, then it's going to come to my doorstep and I want to avoid that. But the thing about this Eight of Swords is that even if you choose to stay here longer than you're supposed to, you're not going to get any extra information. So once what was once a line of defense can become your undoing if you stay in this energy too long. something new that is taking place but in order for that to happen you're going to have to fully close the cycle and embrace the newness it's gonna feel like it's gonna feel like a loss right away You're gonna feel this again, this 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 pain. Because this is not discomfort, this is this pain, this loneliness is inevitable. And necessary. And necessary.
Okay, Cancer. Thank you very much for taking the time out to spend a little time with me today. Until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you all.